when it's around 10 o'clock 11 o'clock in the night and I'm just like I need to go to bed the age is not lying okay hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name is Omalade Okaito and I focus on faith travel and reviews if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you support a sister so this video yeah you know what i mean you know for those of you who've been following my channel then you know what's up man this video is going to be about my prime time was wasted now catching up on lost times i will explain a bit more detail in what i mean about that and stuff like that it's not necessarily what you think it is i will definitely go in a bit more detail so for those of you who know already when it comes to more of like my faith content i speak a lot about more so in the past but my church her spiritual abuse and you know some of the things that i went through and do check out those you know there's a lot of content there about my journey and here i am three years three and a half years later wow time has gone by really quickly after three years leaving i have spoken to some people who i know personally who have come across or who have reached out to me who have left my old church one thing that we can all like agree on is that we feel that quite a lot of our time was wasted yeah sorry to say that i know they say that oh you know everything happens for a reason they don't see it as a waste and those who know know and those who have experienced similar experiences know what i'm talking about so one thing that we've all agreed on is like time was really wasted there were other things that we could have been focusing on but we didn't because our time was focused there bearing in mind you know we came at quite a young age we were very impressionable yeah like don't get it twisted like i've mentioned before, i've met like great people and stuff like that i can't make up for the lost time do you know what i mean i can't make up for all those years i could have been focusing my energy on something else and i didn't so it is what it is so i feel like i'm playing catch up if we had made certain choices we could have been something different now like we could have been doing something different something more great like i don't know it's it's so hard because it is the bit of the unknown at the same time it is like oh my gosh if 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 only we like made certain choices maybe we wouldn't be where we are now i am going to be really honest a lot of the things that we can all agree on apart from one from my side but that's just more of a personal thing i i know why there's one i can't really agree on um, and it will make sense because it's part of my content many of us felt that we didn't travel enough um, not relevant to me many of us didn't feel that we spent enough time with our family our friends even venture like certain business ideas as well or even save like when it comes to like financial saving save save like the way we we could have saved then as well and just a lot of like events miss like just eventful things that that are gone forever i might experience that event ever again we prioritize our time at our old church and as you can see like we can agree with all of these things um together collectively for me i will i will separate myself when it comes to the travel i think that's one thing that I, i'm so glad that i was so intentional with and i did it regardless i know for the rest they're they didn't have that opportunity it has been a journey it's been a journey sorry i just got a message so i've just got distracted but now like me personally i feel like i'm playing catch up with life literally <laughs> i can't even describe at my big age i'm just like oh my gosh i need to do this i need to do that and i think it's because i'm making up for a lot of lost time i have grown obviously to a beautiful matured woman i'm gonna give myself credit for that However, I feel like I'm going back to some of the stuff that I used to really like before going to my old church and even just me as a person as well, like personality wise, because I feel like when you're in that environment for quite a long time, you can use a sense of yourself as well. So it's also rediscovery about myself and who I am as a person. And I'm just like, whoa, like self-discovery in that now. But I think because I just didn't have a lot of the time to be able to self-discover myself then or during them times so that sort of things i've noticed that like, interest as well that like, i used to like before it's like i'm getting back into those interests now and it's, it's really weird i don't have the same energy now as i did then so it's just like guys just please enjoy your youth those of you in your 20s enjoy enjoy please like please don't be fooled by this don't be fooled by my looks and stuff because some people are like what no you look yeah don't be fooled the bones the bones don't mm -mm. the bones don't lie <laughs> when it's around 10 o'clock 11 o'clock in the night and i'm just like i need to go to bed 
the age is not lying okay being in an environment like that a lot of your hobbies or things that you really enjoy and stuff that can be stripped off from you or you you just eventually just give it up it is good to know that I feel like I'm gaining my own individuality again which is great because sometimes the environment that I was in before it can be more of like a copy paste copy paste copy paste everyone's kind of the same sort of but not the same at the same time I can't really describe it I'm, I'm just really glad that I've, I'm, I've got my own individuality back um, as well I did have a little bit like I was always a little bit different I always knew that something in my brain was a bit different when I was there but at the same time I was very com like conformed to the environment too so like if anyone feeling like this have left a particular environment not necessarily the healthiest and you're trying to play catch up on life these are just some support tips <laughs> that I can give personally and it's worked for me. You are not alone, firstly, in this feeling because when I was discussing like with my friends or, or some individuals who have left, sometimes we were, we were thinking, oh my gosh, it's only us that is feeling like this. And then when we all spoke out, we were like, oh my gosh, I feel like that. Oh, you feel like that. Oh, it's so interesting how we're all feeling the same way. We're all feeling, feeling the same thing. So I think first thing is first is that you're not alone in this feeling. There are us out here who get you and understand we only have this one life to live you know life can just go like that like literally and i think it's really important that we live in the present and we live in the moment of course it's great to have future plans um, and all of that jazz i'm not i'm not saying not to have that but it's just really really key that we live in the present we live in the moment another thing is i understand that you can't get those years back i can't get those years back personally i can't but my advice is still to do the things that you love do the things that you enjoy discover yourself discover who you are discover the things that you like and you don't like still do that i know it's like oh no it's too late and stuff like that just try that's one thing i'm gonna say i'm trying if i can do it like then you know please try <laughs> the importance of check-ins with yourself going therapy you know as you know i'm an advocate for therapy it's not for everyone though um that's one thing i've come to realize too it's not if you are open to the idea i'll definitely recommend therapy as well there's just something so beautiful for me personally about being able to just talk about what's in my mind and what's clouded in my mind and you know just talk it out it's just something so amazing about that but Anyway, before I continue blabbing on, <laughs> I'm even looking at my notes and it's even telling me my next content plan, like my, my next content video. So that's, that, that's telling me that, oh, you need to end the video. But anyway, guys, I really hope that this video was really helpful. Make sure you support a sister. Comment below as well some of the things that you found really helpful in this video. I would really like to know. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you support a sister until next time.